podcast. Recorded at Konami HQ in downtown Tokyo, this is your host, Ryan Payton, for the exclusive in-game broadcast of Metal Gear Solid Solid 4 Integral Podcast. Welcome to the first ever Metal Gear Solid 4 Integral Podcast, number one. It's going to be included in MGS4. As you know, playing through the game, as you're doing right now, you've got the the iPod equipped, and you're listening to this show, and uh, you're going to be able to download future shows in the, uh, in the coming months. But first, let me introduce uh, Aki Saito, who's joining me on the program. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me, Aki. It's, uh, it's kind of weird. We're, we're in the future now. It's, uh, it's 106 days in the future <laughs> that we're recording this. Yes, yes. Or that, that we're, we're broadcasting this. We're recording this in February, mm-hmm. knowing that this is going to be burnt onto the Blu-ray disc um, for millions of people to enjoy. Mm. It's, uh, it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I've never been burnt on a Blu-ray disc before. Uh, me neither. So people listening to this, they, they come across the, the iPod in MGS4. Yes. They come across this episode and they, they're wondering, now what exactly what exactly is this? What is this for? Yes. Good question. This is to, well actually there's a lot of meanings, isn't it? Yeah. I mean to ease the tension when you're playing the game. Right. Things like that as well. So you can play your own music, you can play this, you can ease the tension mm. by listening to our, our voices. Our, our stupid conversation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And you could you also ease the tension of Snake, yes, because his sight gauge will fill up if yes. you're listening to music exactly, exactly. or if you're listening to this program. Mm-hmm. Metal Gear Solid 4 Integral Podcast. This is really cool in the game. Obviously, as as players know, they're they're playing this on an Apple iPod, not mm. just a generic MP3 player. Mm. Now, Aki, you worked on this project. You worked on on getting approvals from Apple. Mm-hmm. Can you talk about that that process of getting the <laughs> iPod into the game, which is very cool? Yes. Well, um, you know, Kojima Production always comes up with cool ideas, and at that time, still is. You know, everyone had has an iPod as a music their favorite favorite music player, and we thought. Um, as Hideo, Mr. Kojima, is a great Apple fan as well. Um, we thought that why not we put the actual iPod in the game and for Snake to use as an item. Right. It's a cool idea. So it was really you know, fun uh, working with Apple because they're um, really uh, nice guys actually. And you're a super fan of Apple. Well, yes, yes, me too. Um, Hideo and I are the last sole survivors within the company to have uh, the Mac PCs um, <laughs> on our desks. And work uh, work on it. But you take it a step further. You have a a, a competitor's laptop. It's a PC based <laughs> laptop. Yes. With an Apple sticker sticker over their brand, mm-hmm. over their logo mm-hmm. on on that laptop. So people from a distance think think you're on a you're on a power book. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's um, actually I customize inside as well. So because at, at home I've always been an Apple user, and it's um, I, I changed the inside as well. And um, it, it's it's I don't know. It's just more fun when you're working right you don't get the and you want to work on a computer that you love well you like to be that rebel you know yeah well. but it's it's funny <laughs> but it's funny because you don't have to be a rebel if you're outside of japan like especially like in the states you know you see out you see macintosh you see or you see macbooks and yeah, yeah. all over the place but yeah um but really uh, the the ipod is synonymous with with mp3 players mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and so we've gotten the game you, did you have to go through a bunch of different checks well, like, yeah I, I i did a couple of rounds of to get approvals but what i did was this was really cool um they actually wanted to see how um you guys are playing right now how this is working how this will work so what i did was i went to the studio and i made a video um with you know the staff of Kojima productions thanks guys and we made a video a cool video and made sure that that can be played on an ipod as well oh, you know? so i sent that dvd right. over to apple and they really loved it and they gave me a bunch of that. So oh, cool. screenshots, usually you know, this, this happens only with screenshots and text space and right. explanation. Sure. But I thought, uh, this is... You want to see the, they want to see it in motion, right? Yeah, so, you know, usually you kind of ask them to come into the studio and that kind of thing, but that wasn't possible, so I made a cool video. And they seen this part of what the, 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 the players are doing right now. So everything was recorded, sent to Apple. They loved it. That's great. Perfect. Metal Gear Solid 4 Integral Podcast. So the plan for this podcast, and I and I can actually say podcast now because I kind of steer away from that word sometimes because it's it's really a radio program and not necessarily everybody's listening to it on an iPod. Mm-hmm. So why call it a podcast? Mm-hmm. But this time we know everybody's listening to this in the in-game. Mm-hmm. 
iPod. You can't download this um, on our website mm. or through iTunes. This is, only, this is exclusive to MGS4. Mm. You can listen to this program. And we have future programs as well as music um, that will be coming out in the coming months after the release of MGS4 mm -hmm. um, that you can be able to download. And we're going to be talking about you know, the making of the game. It's kind of like a director's commentary. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, it's something that's never been done for games before. I mean, this in this is, format. I mean, yeah, this format is really cool. I mean, usually a director's commentary or making of is done on a bonus disc or sure. things like that. But of course, we might could have that. But it's so cool as an item in the game, and you actually have to collect them, right? Mm -hmm. And when you find it, you want to listen to it, right? And you could actually still play the game while we're um, while we're just, yeah chatting away and blabbering about all sorts of stuff. And we're going to be providing background info on the game about different areas of the game, mm -hmm. like you know the, the creation of those areas, as well as strategies, so you know how to defeat bosses if you're so inclined. But the question is, what to do? About, what to do about spoilers? And I'm I'm still thinking about that. Metal Gear Solid 4 Integral Podcast. As Mr. Kojima surmised in the on the Japanese side of this podcast, mm -hmm. on the Japanese version of MGS4, mm -hmm. this is probably the the listener's second time through MGS4. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you when you played MGS4, but you know, you play it once and you know that, oh, the second time I'm going to try this different route, or I'm going to try these different items or these different weapons. Yeah. And I'm yeah. guessing most people are going to be listening to the iPod through the second time through, because mm -hmm. the first time through you want to you want to listen to the Harry Gregson Williams soundtrack, right? Well, no, the first time actually you're so tense trying to clear yeah, the game. Yeah, you didn't even know what's going on. Yeah, so I did know what the iPod, you could use the iPod, but you have an op you have to use it as an item. Right. And you want that solid eye as well sure. that you and I love rations, so much. Yes. Yeah, the rations. So, yes, I, I think second playthrough, third playthrough is what everyone's uh, listening right now. So, as players have probably noticed, if this is the second time through, their items and their the Dreben points are going to carry over to the second playthrough. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. they can use the second playthrough to try to hunt down items that are not found in Dreben shop mm -hmm. or rare items like some kind of face camo. Mm -hmm. So, there's a lot to lot to go through in the second time, your third time through. I mean, this is a, this is a time of fun, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you're totally. now easy about the routes and what's going to happen. Right. You're more an explorer mm -hmm. and maybe sneaking as well. Yeah, so, you're better at sneaking. Yeah, you're going to try a lot of things. Um, since, since you're listening, you should be more easy and enjoying the game, actually more relaxed mm -hmm. listening to this radio program, program at the same time. I think it's a fun experience, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm looking forward to, to hearing us us do this on uh, on June 12th mm -hmm. when the game launches. Now, uh, don't forget to check back frequently to download new episodes of the MGS4 Integral podcast on the same spot you found on your iPod in the game of MGS4. And also, don't forget to check out our other show, which is on the web. You can subscribe to it through iTunes. It's our normal podcast. We do it every week. It's usually Ken, myself, and, and Aki, or Mark, and... We do that every week. We're approaching the 100th episode, and you can download download that, um, yeah, like on your computer, and we give you an update about what's what's going on in the world of Kojima Productions. Not necessarily all the stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a good show. I like it. Yeah, it's a it's a lot okay. of a lot of secrets given away as well. Yeah, a lot of a lot of leaks, a lot yeah. of information leaks. That's how we roll. But this is gonna close the the inaugural MGS4 Integral Podcast number one. Um, I hope everyone enjoying it, and I hope everyone finds their way to play it, because there's various ways. My recommendation is to try, try to just sneak everything through, it's going to be, it's going to be really fun. Yeah, definitely. Play it as a sneaking game, Yeah, not as a straight-up action game, you're going to enjoy it. Yeah, it is. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks for having me today. Oh, thanks, Aki. All right, that's going to wrap up this edition of the Metal Gear Solid 4 Integral Podcast. Yeah. Be sure to download future episodes available exclusively through the Metal Gear Solid 4 game. From all of us at Kojima Productions, thanks for listening and thanks for playing. We're out of here. And now, Metal Gear Solid 4 Integral Podcast. Recorded at Konami HQ in downtown Tokyo, this is your host, Ryan Payton, for the exclusive in-game broadcast of Metal Gear Solid 4 Integral Podcast. Welcome to the first ever Metal Gear Solid 4 Integral Podcast, number one. It's going to be included in MGS4. As you know, playing through the game, as you're doing right now, you've got the, the iPod equipped, and you're listening to this show, and you're going to be able to download future shows in, uh, in the coming months. 
But first, let me introduce uh, Aki Saito, who's joining me on the program. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me, Aki. It's a uh, it's kind of weird. We're we're in the future now. It's uh, it's 106 